Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a glowing lightning effect with sound effects in After Effects. Let's get started. I have two lightning footage clips that I'll be using for this effect. If you'd like to use the same ones, be sure to check the video description to download them for free. First I'll click track camera and wait for the analysis to finish. Once it's done, I'll create two solids and cameras, since I have two lightning clips and I want both to be tracked as accurately as possible. I'll place one solid and camera in front of the car here the other one somewhere in the background. To stay organized, I'll rename both solids. The green solid will be labeled back, and the orange one will be labeled front. Now we can drag and drop one of the lightning footage clips into the composition. Enable 3D for the layer, and let's say we want this one to appear in the background. Select the back solid and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Then copy the position values and paste them onto the lightning layer. Now let's scale the lightning layer, then reposition and rotate it until it looks right. It looks good to me and is also perfectly tracked. At this point, we can disable the back solid layer since we no longer need it visible. It's time to drag and drop another lightning footage. Enable 3D on it and then select the front solid and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Then copy the position values and paste them onto the new lightning layer. Now scale the lightning layer, then reposition and rotate it until it looks right. Once you're happy with the placement, toggle off the front solid layer as well. Now let's do a quick preview to see how it looks. It seems fine, but I'd like to adjust the timing. For example I want the front lightning to appear a bit later, after the back lightning has already flashed. That looks better to me. Now I'll add a glow effect to the lightning layers. I'm using the Deep Glow plugin, but if you don't have it, the standard glow effect works just fine. Just make sure to adjust the glow threshold, radius, and intensity to get the desired look. This already looks great to me, but for this tutorial, I'll stick with Deep Glow. I'll apply it to the second lightning layer as well. In this case, the glow is a bit too bright, so I'll lower the exposure slightly to balance it out. That looks better, let's do a quick preview one more time. It looks good to me. Before adding sound effects, I'll apply a hue slash saturation effect. This allows us to easily adjust the lightning color by tweaking the master hue, and we can also control the saturation directly from here. But in my case I won't use it cause the natural colors are looking good to me with this clip. To add more energy and realism, I'll apply shake effects to make the animation more dynamic. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Finally we can add sound effects to complete the result. Drag and drop the Thunder SFX into the timeline. If you want to use the same sound, check the video description to download it for free. Double press L on your keyboard to expand the waveform of the Thunder SFX. This will help us accurately match the sound with the lightning effect. The Thunder sound starts here, so drag the SFX layer to align it perfectly with the lightning visuals. Let's preview the result. Amazing. Now I'll scroll to the next lightning and add another Thunder SFX. We'll repeat the same process to sync it perfectly with this one as well. It sounds good, but for my taste, the treble is a bit too harsh. To fix this, I'll apply the bass and treble effect. Now I'll increase the bass and reduce the treble, then check it again. That sounds much better. Next I'll apply the same effect to the first SFX and adjust the bass and treble settings accordingly. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.